today we are going to see all the new sketching tools that are available in Studio 13.5. Also, the improvements that are done in different sketching tools. To explain this, I have got this sketch. Also, to make it easy, I have merged all the layers and converted them into one particular layer which you can see over here. The first tool that I would like to explain will be transform layer. This tool is under paint edit. The first tool here is transform layer. Earlier the transform layer tool used to have a rectangle at the center with help of which we had to transform the layer. Now the manipulators are better and they also guide us to understand what we are doing. Let's say right now I am translating the image. Now I am scaling the image. And now I am rotating the image. As I have done some changes, the accept button comes up here and I can go ahead and accept it or I can reset it to the initial state. The other significant improvement is multiple undues. which is very helpful for modifying any layer. Many times we do need to move the pivot for rotation and for other changes, even for scaling. Now the reset pivot is there to get the pivot back at the center. At times, we need to put exact numerical values for transformation. Let's say a situation where I am sketching a wheel of a car and I need to move it exactly by 30 degree. So now you can see the layer is moved by 30 degree. I'll reset it back. Another added feature would be, I'll show that with the help of introducing some transparency. I can snap the pivot to any other geometry or to grid. I'll go ahead and put grid on. Over here I have snap to grid, so I'll use that. And now I can snap my pivot to any grid. Similarly, I can snap it to any geometry also. And now I can apply the transformation. I'll release the grid snap. I'll bring back the normal stage of the layer. With these improvements, the layer transform tool is much more helpful, which is very frequently used while sketching. I'll bring back the original file to explain the next tool. The next tool that I'm going to explain is color correction tools, which are available over here. The first two tools, which is brightness and contrast, and saturation and value. Both are improved. 
I'll go ahead and use the brightness and contrast tool. Earlier, we used to get few windows over here which would show the possible effects and we had to select one of them. Now, those are removed and it's simplified. We get one image on the top which shows the current state and one image at the bottom which shows how it is going to be after we apply the effect. So here I move the slider and the lower image shows how it is going to be as I apply the effect. Now I can go ahead and accept or cancel this. I will show the next tool which is saturation and value. Exactly similar improvements done here. The top image shows how the image is now and the lower one shows how it is going to be. I move the slider and the lower one updates. I can go ahead and accept it or can clear that. I'll go ahead and cancel. To explain the next tool, I'll open a new file. And before that, I will change the workflow to default. It will be helpful to understand. I have got a new file and I am in the perspective window. The feature that I'm explaining is consistency between normal canvas or stand, standard canvas and overlay canvas. Now, there is a consistency between both these canvases so that users don't have any confusion between them. If I go to canvas, new canvas, this is the standard canvas option. And this is the overlay canvas options. Both are made almost similar. At the same time, in this perspective window, as I do not have any canvas and I start sketching, I will get a canvas window. Here, user can go and select the type of the canvas. He can use standard and he will have a standard canvas or he can go ahead and use a overlay canvas. This establishes a consistency between both types of canvases. To explain the next tool, I'll go back to the earlier file that I used. And the next tool is Canvas Resize tool. I'll go back to Paint Workflow. Canvas Resize tool is over here. And that's the window opens up. Now we can decide the size of the canvas exactly in inches or in centimeters. Let's say I'm using centimeters. I can modify this to 85. And you can see that the canvas has increased in size. Or I can go ahead and reduce it to 65. And you can see the canvas has reduced in size. I can go ahead and accept that. It says resizing canvas cannot be undone. I accept that. And you can see the image is cropped accordingly. To explain the next tool, I'll again open the file. And the next tool is for brass size hotkey. I'm selecting pencil. The brass size hotkey is available 
in preferences, interface, hotkeys, under special, paint, here it is the brass size hotkey, which is by default set to S, can be modified if user wants. To explain how that works, I will take help of the control panel. On the right over here, please notice as opacity as well as radius will change as I change the brass size. So right now I'm sketching with pencil. I'm holding S and trying to change the brass size. You can see on the right hand side over here in the control panel. opacity as well as mean max radius both are changing This is very helpful for sketching quickly and also helps user for adjusting both, both parameters of the brass. There is a small change that I would like to mention. On the control panel over here, we used to have curves as an option that has been removed. Shapes are there. And also on the side, we used to have an option called global. For shapes, the same is renamed all. All means all shapes that are available globally. To explain the next tool, I'll go ahead and open a new file. So now I have a new canvas. And the next tool that I'm going to explain is symmetric canvas brass. which we have seen earlier. Now at times, the same symmetry settings needs to be modified. And I'll modify the symmetry setting. Now I'll again sketch. And now I want to go back to the initial symmetry for doing something else. So I can reset it. So the symmetry is again set back. Now I can go ahead and sketch again.
this will give us a lot of possibility in terms of using the symmetry sketching option. The next significant changes that I would like to mention are about canvas layer editor. All these options available here in canvas layer editor can be mapped to hotkeys now. Those hotkeys are available here. Preferences, interface, hotkey menus, special. There is a new option added called canvas layer editor. So users can go ahead and add hotkeys as they prefer and they will be able to use them. In canvas layer editor, at the bottom, these access buttons, they have a little rollover text which guide users to understand what they are going to do or what they are using. The other improvement is about the little preview that each and every layer has. This is more about system. So now these previews, they update when the system is idle. And that's how it helps the user for quickly switching between layers. To explain the next feature that is added in Canvas Layer Editor, I'll go ahead and open my earlier file. The other improvement done in Canvas Layer Editor, I have opened the earlier file that I used. This is about mask and invert mask. I'll create some masks. To create masks, I'll take help of curves. Here I have created some curves. Now I will create mask with them. I have created one mask. have created another mask. If we see in canvas layer editor, we can see that there are two masks that are created. This is one mask. This is one mask. Now if I use invert mask, it inverts both the masks. If I go to this mark, mask, this mask is inverted. If I go to this mask, this mask is also inverted. I'll go back and invert them back. Again, they're inverted. Now, if I want to invert one particular mask, so I go and select the mask, and then I invert. So only that mask is inverted. You can see over here. If I go to the other mask, that's not inverted. This will really help in terms of while sketching dynamically creating masks and inverting them for blocking areas and painting. These are the improvements that are done in 13.5. They are going to help us a lot for fast and also detailed sketching. Thank you.